The SADC has been instructed by the government to change any portions of its preliminary election observation mission report that cast out on President Emerson Mnangagwa's election victory. Amon Mawaira, the acting Minister of Foreign Affairs, informed ambassadors from the SADC area that Nevis Mamba's report, which threatened Zimbabwe's territorial integrity and broke SADC laws and regulations, should be revised before the final report is delivered. According to our understanding, SADC respects the sovereignty of its members, and SEOM, which is a subsidiary of SADC, acts within the bounds of the member states' constitutions and laws, which are enacted by sovereign parliaments. We don't think it falls within the purview of SEOM to contest or meddle with the constitutions, laws, and court rulings enacted by the sovereign democratic institutions of member states, said Mawire. The report that exposed irregularities in ZEC's conduct over its 2022 delimitation report and Xavier Kasukawe's unlawful exclusion from the presidential campaign angered Umnengogwa's administration. Comments such, the delimitation was a defective and improperly carried out process, and Kasukawe's disqualification was improper, are incredibly unhelpful. The Kasukawe case was resolved by a ruling from the Constitutional Court. This also contains unhelpful remarks claiming that the so-called Patriot Bill violates the First Amendment because it restricts the right to free speech. As the government works to legitimize votes criticized by the majority of observers. With the exception of India and Palestine, Mawaira noted that such utterances, whether deliberate or not, put doubt on the integrity of Zimbabwe's public institutions and the citizenry. Umningogwa's ministry asked SADC to amend these remarks in the final report in a diplomatic but stern statement that was read to the ambassadors from Zambia, Angola, Botswana, and Tanzania who were present for the briefing. They did not specify what they would do if no action is taken. In order to ensure the anticipated constructive contribution to strengthening the election processes of member states, including Zimbabwe, he added, Zimbabwe has full trust that the flaws noted in the SEOM report would be addressed. ZANU-PF, meanwhile, declared that now that the results had been released, it no longer disagreed with the SADC report and would ignore those points. At a different press conference, ZANU-PF spokesman Chris Matsvengwa said, we take a cafeteria approach to the SADC report. We will take the positives in the report and leave those that we think are bad. We only had issue with it before the results were announced because the report had the effect of threatening the rule of law and security of the country. ZMB ZMB, Umnin Gogwa's top election agent, stated that the SADC heads of state would handle Mamba's report.